uh, this is different. So I've got a couple interesting errands to run today and I thought I would just go ahead and take you along with me and also I'm just gonna stare at my face because I don't do this very often. First of all, I need to go to the library because I've got some books that are due and I get to check out some new ones. And then, so I've already got some toys that I have purchased um, to be able to donate this year because it is, it's almost Christmas, like today's Tuesday and Christmas is Saturday, which, ugh. but uh, the original place that I was going to donate the toys, um, I missed the drop off date. So we were trying to figure out another place to donate them and we called our local Ronald McDonald house charities and uh and they said that they would be happy to take them but they said that they are at full capacity right now and they they don't really have a lot of things for their kids so we figured let's just get some more <laughs> let's just get some more toys and and other fun stuff for the kids and and just go go all out this year so at the moment we have a working budget of 150 dollars and after I go to the library, I'm going to go to Walmart so that I can just play Santa to the best of my abilities. And I thought I would take you along with me. So, um, but first things first, I gotta get gas. There's a flower in your face, I'm sorry. All right, let's mask up. And honestly, it's pretty warm today. I think the jacket was a mistake. Books. Let's go. So I tried to do a little bit of talking on camera at the library, but honestly, it is such a small space and it was so quiet there. I may have been the only other person there aside from the desk clerk. So I'm just doing a post voiceover <laughs> instead. Right here I am picking out a book called Beauty by Robin McKinley, which is uh, very clearly advertised as a uh, retelling of Beauty and the Beast. I looked at this the last time I was here, um, and I'm very curious, I guess, how the story will differ from the original version. And this is actually the book that I read last time. It's Princess Academy by Shannon Hale. Um, this was a book that I stared at in my school library when I was younger, but I never read it. Um, and uh, today I am picking up the sequel, which is called Palace of Stone, and I am super excited. So now that I've got my books, I make my way over to the DVD section, which is definitely an underrated section of the library. If you've never looked at the DVDs at your local library, definitely check them out. Um, I was in the mood for something Jane Austen, um, something I hadn't seen before, so I ended up finding a Persuasion DVD, specifically Persuasion from 1995. I have never seen this film, um, but I'm excited to give it a watch. And over in the TV section, I ended up finding a uh, DVD of Frankie Drake Mysteries. They only had the first season, which is the season that I have already seen, but it was a good season, so I thought there was no harm in watching it again, especially since it has been taken off Prime. All right, books and DVDs acquired. Now let's get to the fun part. Oh, it's busy today. I can just tell from the parking lot. Mask up. what we can find. Already we've got some board games out here in front, which I think would be super fun. Ooh, Candyland. That's a classic. Alright, let's get a Candyland. Um, oh, no. Oh, I'm sorry. No, to take a it's okay. No, you're fine. <laughs> Is it Trouble or is it Sorry? I think I think Trouble is the one I'm thinking of that I played as a kid. Oh no, maybe it was Sorry. Or maybe it's like both. I know I played a version of this. Yeah, let's let's get this one too. And shoot some ladders. That was fun. Tell you what, no, actually, let's let's swap out shoot some ladders or Clue. Yes, I'm a big Clue fan. 
Okay, so we've got $25 so far. Okay. You know what's always good? Plushies. And there is a Pooh Bear. Oh, he's a nice Pooh Bear. His head's a little small, but he's very soft and very squishy. Yeah. How much are these? 10 bucks each? I mean, look at that face. Yeah, these these Pika Blues are so fun. I got one to donate last year. Is it this paw or is it the other paw? It's one of her paws. Oh, Swede's tummy. It says right there on the thing. There she is. There's a lot of ladies in here, which I find interesting. I keep seeing these bluey, whatever they are, characters. I have no idea what these are from, but they look cute, but it's just, uh, I'm, I'm getting old. I don't know what's hip anymore. Except Blue's Clues. Blue's Clues is always hip. karaoke songs with it. This, this stuff's popular, right? I keep seeing it everywhere. Got Chase, Marshall, and the girl. I know, I think, I think that's for the, I think that's for these things. Um, I have no idea what cost. My little cousin has one of these and he adores it. And I just think that they're so cool. So I've got one. This is about like 15, 16 dollars. Okay, I'm kind of in a weird corner of the toy section. Kind of interesting dolls. Okay, they're MGA. But like, you know, you've got the you got the chef, you've got the vet. It's it's kind of a Barbie thing. Am I am I dreaming that? We've got a doctor. And her name's Yasmin. That's interesting. And then they've got surprise versions. I have I've never heard of this. Interesting. I'm finding the problem when you're you're buying toys to donate is that you're never quite sure what age range you should be looking for. So you kind of just gravitate toward like just kind of generic stuff that can be appreciated at any age. And I don't know. I feel like I could be doing better. Oh my god. Oh my god, hang on, hang on, hang on. Look at these. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, she, oh my god. Sweet. Oh, by the way, I found these little Spider-Man toys. So I've got a few of these. These are about 10 bucks each. They call it Scarlet Spider. Um, and then there's a Venom. And I also got a spider Gwen, which this they're calling Ghost Spider, but like, that's quite a little spider Gwen. So that's about 30. Right, that I came over here. So I got these, like they're, they're sort of Hot wheels -y things but they're shaped like dinosaurs and I think they're kind of cute yeah these could be fun yeah let's get a couple of these okay so I'm at the very back of the toy section and there's this whole like this this whole shelf right here it's just kind of a mishmash of things thrown together so I'm not entirely sure if this is like clearance 
items or if this is just for overflow or whatever i didn't know that most of what i like feel interested in and try to find the price it's never directly underneath it so there's that i gotta say the more i look at these barbie extra dolls the more I'm kind of into them. Like, I don't know, they weren't they weren't necessarily my thing at first, but like this chick, look at her, like she's fun. And I didn't I didn't realize they had pets. There, there was another one that I saw that had a mouse and a bunny. And is it is this like a chihuahua? Is this a gerbil? Yeah, there's there's one with a mouse, there's the rabbit, there's another alligator. Like, what? I don't know, I think they're growing on me. Yeah, the rabbit was, was with this one. Um, and she was like in a super 60s like flower power outfit. Oh, update, we are about at um, $125. Um, I got another Fashionistas doll. I've already got a couple of these that I purchased before today. Um, and I got an Elsa doll because I'm not helpless. And then I found, um, I was thinking about like getting some like Legos or you know something like that. And I found this really cute bag. A new kind of plastic eco wood 2.0. Contains various reprocessed plant fibers and plastic and standard resin. Interesting. So trying to not get anything um, that would need batteries. I'm, I'm being very conscious about that. I don't want to get anything with batteries or that would need, you know, any kind of electrical plug-in or whatever, just like rip out and play, you know? Very, very easy, very simple. Yeah, this was the one that I saw. Like, like look at that. Okay, oh, she's got like a big streak of um, hair that's got like stamps on it which is interesting. And then she's got like this PVC poncho thing with flowers on it. And she's got a couple necklaces. Okay, the necklaces are really cute. And she has a bunny with a bucket hat and a gold chain. It's it's a lot. You know, she's, she's pretty darn cute. I don't know. But again, I look under her and like, that's, that's not a spirit thing. Where does she belong? I'll tell you what, because I'm kind of losing track. Um, it's kind of getting a little hard to keep track of where we are budget-wise. So I'm just going to go back. I'm going to assume that these little Paw Patrol things are like about 10 each, because that seems to be the that seems to be the theme of the other toys that I'm getting. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get one more of these and get them both. And I think I'm gonna call it there. I think that should be a pretty good haul. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I got the girl one with the helicopter. Okay, I think, I think we're ready for checkout. my eyes are bigger than my ability to do math. Um, I got up to the register and started scanning things and the price just started racking up. Basically, I got to the limit of our budget um, quicker than I thought and just purely by process of elimination, the uh, board games did not make the cut. But without the board games, we completely hit the mark. I think the total was like 148 and change or something. So it's like right at the dot. And I am super pleased with myself. I think I got some really cool stuff. I hope the kids like them. So the plan, because of COVID stuff, um, we have to call ahead when um, we are planning to, to drop off the donations. So it looks like we're going to do that Thursday. So today's Tuesday, I'm gonna go drop off the toys Thursday. And I will try to get a little footage when that happens, but they said that they might want to take pictures when we get there. So who knows what's going to happen. Bottom line, I feel good. Some kids are gonna get some really cool toys 
and spirit of the season. That's all it is. So a couple things ended up happening. One is that my parents, mainly my mom, went uh, completely rogue and ended up getting uh, even more toys than I had purchased on Tuesday. We're estimating that it was about 175 worth of more toys that were purchased and there were some like craft kits we tried to get some more stuff um for boys uh, just an assortment of different things and uh then we didn't end up vlogging any of it but my dad took some pictures when we uh, met the lady at the charity but she was super sweet and the process went very quickly and smoothly and she just had me uh, fill out a little form when everything was done and she seemed extremely excited and thought that the families that they are housing would be super pleased with everything. Well, if I don't see you on Thursday, then I hope you have a great day. I hope you have a great holiday season, whatever you celebrate. And uh, I love you very much.